Manchester United still Man City's Omar Barreda as new CEO. Oh my God. And today, guys, for those who have just joined, I'm going to give you the facts and the news regarding that. So make sure you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this video. And also remember to subscribe and smash that like button and support Ready Night TV and become a member. And for those who are wondering, what the hell is going on, Ivor and Spice? Yes, Manchester United did something that they don't usually do. Poach Man City staff members. Poach someone from Man City. And Manchester United have decided to do that and decided to take one of their key aspects key assets, key staff members, someone that's elite, someone that's competent, someone that's been there and done that, at, not just at Manchester City, but also at Barcelona. Yes, guys, it is the start of Ineos. Sir Jim Ratcliffe himself has decided to start to show us what he's really made of and started putting his money where his mouth is as well and started appointing those that we need, elite members, those with footballing knowledge. And it happens to be Manchester City's Omar Right up. And I'm going to talk about it right now, give you everything, the gist, the juice, you know, what's, who is he? For those who are running like, I've always spice. who the hell is Omar Barado? Well, I'm going to tell you that. Let's get cracking. Yesterday, for those who didn't know, the transfer guru himself, Fabrizio Romano, tweeted around 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. in UK time, for those who are just wondering, doing their own business and wonder why their notification was going, but and then Manchester United group chat was popping. Yes, it's because he tweeted, Manchester City can confirm that Omar Bereda has resigned from his role at Chief Football Operation Officer at City's Football Group. Bereda will join Manchester United as new CEO. Decision made as he's informed Manchester City's during talks as per David Austin has um, tweeted out. Fabrizio then goes to just cement the deal by saying Omar Barreda has already signed the contract as new Manchester United CEO, leaving Man City with immediate effect, guys. You know that 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 Manchester United pool still works, even if you're Manchester City. We will take your staff members because we are Manchester United. Fabrizio Romano continues to say Barreda wanted by Ineos, he'll have overall control of football and businesses. Barreto will sit on the board and report to all of the owners. Start date to be confirmed. Those who are probably saying um, in the summer, but I would prefer it now, but we will look more into that. We even have other outlets saying Ineos were the driving force behind the appointment of Omar Barreto as Manchester United's new CEO. The move was made quickly, quietly, and collaboratively. Oh, quickly, quietly, collaboratively. In your face, City. We went behind your back and poached your star, man. What are you going to do? We poached your egg, bruh. Once Beretta knew of United's interest and the impressive way he was sold the club. Once Beretta knew of United's interest and impressive way he was sold the club. It was impossible to say no. You cannot say no to Manchester United. You know, it doesn't matter who you are in life. If Manchester United come knocking your door, even if you're a Man City fan, even if you're an Arsenal fan for your whole entire life, you'll be like, you know what? An opportunity too good to turn down. I want to be that person that makes a difference at Manchester United. I want to be that guy that the fans say, I made legacy. I made those changes. I want to be that guy. Doesn't matter if it's a commercial club. I want to be that guy, and he want to be that guy, and he took that opportunity, but so, ha <laughs> ha, Manchester City. And then you have Sky Sports themselves, who've also released their article on their website, saying Omar Breda appointed Manchester United news chief executive from rival Man City. Manchester United appoint Omar Breda for rivals Man City as their new chief executive. Breda succeeds, succeeds Richard Arnold following his exit as CEO at the end of last year. Um, Beretta has played a key part in City's recent on and off the field success and has also worked at Barcelona. You know, working at Man City, working at Barcelona is what you need. Elite levelness, guys. Elite levelness experience. Not that work experience, learning a job kind of shit that, you know, you got from John Myrtle and Richard Honor doing it things for the first time out from football. No way, man. We want people who's been there doing it at the highest level who are extremely competent in, within their role that's, and will be, are determined, has got a proven track record of success and are determined to succeed and still hungry. 
that's what we want here at Manchester United. You know, the best of the best, the best in class, may I say. And he says that Manchester United have a point or more from rival Man City as new CEO. United have been searching for a new CEO for since the departure of Richard Arnold and have found successor in Brent Beretta, who has played key part in recent on and off the field success, you know. Oh, Sky Sports also understands that the appointment was made by Sir Jim Ratcliffe in, con in consultation with Joel and Avram Glazer, but Ineos were the driving force behind this move. And what an excellent choice, an intelligent move. Could it be the start of changes at Manchester United? Guys, you let me know in the comments. And there you have Manchester United themselves who was come out with their club statement saying, Omar Beretta appointed as new CEO. Manchester United is pleased to announce the appointment of Omar Beretta as new CEO. The club is determined to put football and performances on the pitch back at the heart of everything we do. Omar's appointment represents the first step on this journey. As one of the most experienced football executives at the top of European football, Omar brings a wealth of football and commercial expertise with a proven record of successful leadership and passion to help lead changes across the club. He is currently serving a chief football operation officer for City's football group, overseeing 11 clubs across five continents, guys, five continents. And prior to this, held senior role at Barcelona. So, guys, you can see this guy's got wealth of experience and the fact that he's overseen city's projects over 11 clubs you know they've got sister clubs and etc it just shows me that he can handle multiple areas of of you know a group in your sister group as well and he can step in and become that main guy for manchester united you know, and just oversee every aspect of the club and making sure that we are striving and hitting targets which is great for me and one thing i love you know i, I like to see stuff like that it just shows competence level you know it's our it's our stated ambition to re-establish manchester united as title winning club we are pleased that omar will be joining us to help achieve that goal so that once again united's fan can see in the words of sir matt bobsey the red flag flying high at the summit of english european and world football Omar's start date will be confirmed in due course in the meantime Patrick Stewart will continue as interim manager and we are hoping that Patrick Stewart can do his job well but we want the new CEO to start immediately because we've got a big summer I'm hearing that it could be in the summer as well that he might start his job but we want him before the summer you know we want him in in, in the next couple of months so he can assess what we need to do and strategize you know that's the thing about Manchester United you do things really slow they need to strategize really well and bring him in and then start executing plans in the summer to get the right players and for those who want to know who the hell is omar like can i know a little bit about him i've already inspired tell me uh, give me a second guys and let's have a look at omar beretta's linkedin profile you can see there he, he describes himself on linkedin as having 20 years of senior level experience in football and someone with expertise in management of clubs, businesses, and football operation, including players' transactions, sponsorship, and media rights. So he's got that experience, um, economic experience, background in the footballing world, and also focusing on playing the pitch where it's most important, the most important thing. Having lived in six different countries, Beretta says he's fluent in four languages. His LinkedIn profile says that he's responsible for managing and optimizing group football operation for almost 100 teams across 11 clubs on five continents. He's also represented Manchester City Group, Manchester City and the group in multiple governing roles, including with European Club Association and FA Women's Super League. Board. Let's have a look a, a bit more about his experience. As you can see, their chief right now, his current role is chief football and operational officer um, at City Football Group, Man City full time. Uh, you can see that since 2020, he's present. Before that, he was, you can see, he's a board member of the chair of the commercial committee for FA Women's Super League. So he's helped strive that, help increase the profile of that. And you can see in, in the wider aspect, Man City, nine years he's been there, you know, chief operating um, officer. Senior VP Group Commercial Director, Director of Partnership Sales 
and you can see board member of Manchester China Forum, and you can see the head of sponsorship when he was working at Barcelona. And then, of course, business development manager before that at Tiscali. We all know who Tiscali is and a product manager. So this guy has wealth of experience at the highest level, you know, and I, I actually like that. I really like that. And then let's just dive on a bit about more of his work. You know, I've come across a couple of videos, him explaining about success and etc. speaking to Taxi uh, about improving the, the, the club itself. So just give me a second, guys. One of the biggest um, challenges or areas of focus that I face in my, in my role as Chief Operating Officer at Manchester City is the need to find the balance between the football side of the organization and the business side. Um, in many ways, they operate in two different worlds, but the reality is you need to be able to bridge that gap to operate as a unit. In my opinion, the top three qualities that a leader should have is, number one, be able to articulate a very clear vision. Number two is really what I call leading by example. I think a leader should be at the forefront of what the team is trying to achieve. And number three is this idea of being collaborative, and involving, creating a platform that allows everybody to express their views and to share their ideas will make the team a lot stronger. And I'm pretty sure for you guys seeing that video, you can agree because Manchester United are missing a lot of things for them to be successful. Articulating a clear vision and you can see Manchester United have no clear vision in the past, you know, and, and you can welcome these kind of things and then you can welcome Ineos who's coming with clear vision and what they want to do. And leading by example, which is obviously clear because you've known that we've had lack of leaders in, in ownership to lead by example, to take ownership as well, you know, with the Glazers just never being there. But now with someone in there and, and in your state, you can tell that there will be someone leading by example and collaborative, you know, and being collaborative, collaborating with all departments. So we all know that we are working as one to achieve the major goal. I'm, I'm excited by this new appointment and I think it's an excellent appointment by Ineos, you know, for them to step in and start showing them us what we can, they can do. Brilliant, you know. Guys, you let me know what your thoughts on the appointment of Omar Boreda. Do you think it's a good appointment? Are you pissed off that we've taken someone from Manchester City? You know, let me know what your thoughts is as well. Make sure you throw your thoughts in the comments as well and let me know. And make sure you guys smash that like button, share, subscribe, and of course, become a member of Red United TV's membership click the link button and guys we'll see you to the next news peace out and take care